Hello, Mom. Lunch is ready in the kitchen. You don't have to wait for me. Yes, I'm having lunch right now, but what is this soup? It's so salty, I don't think I can finish it. And the main dish. I thought I was eating pit food. I I'm sorry. Haley, if I keep eating what you cook for me, I'll get high blood pressure. Or are you trying to make me sick on purpose? Of course not. You hate me so much that you're trying to kill me without realizing? No, why would I hate you? You're lying. A devil in disguise. What a terrible daughter-in-law. This is why I never wanted my son to marry you. I'll be careful next time. I'm very sorry. You've been married for more than six years, but you still can't cook properly. You're not trying your best because your husband is on a business trip. I bet you don't even want to cook for your mother-in-law. No, I never thought so. And your kid is really annoying me. She's so noisy, it's impossible for me to take a nap. I've been telling you to take her outside to play when I'm at home. I'm sorry, but it's been chilly for the past few days because of the bad weather. My daughter refuses to go out. Just kick her out of the house. You're spoiling her too much. But it's really cold outside. Many of her friends at her preschool are catching a cold because of the cold weather. You're worrying too much. When I was a child, I used to play outside even during a snowstorm. The cold should not stop kids from going outside. I'm ashamed of your daughter. Like mother, like daughter. I'll tell her to be quiet when playing inside the house. She's becoming like you, Haley. Me? I, I don't know. She has your flat nose. <laughs> Everyone in the family has a prominent nose except for you two. You both look like a pig. How embarrassing. If only she looked like my son. But she's still your granddaughter. She won't be my only grandchild anymore. No longer my only grandchild. What do you mean? Helen got pregnant. My husband's sister? After many years of fertility treatments, she finally got pregnant. She told me she was in her second trimester. I'm glad to hear that. She always wanted a baby. And she's having a son. I prefer having a grandson. I think they look adorable. Why? It's obvious. By the way, Helen is coming home to give birth in her hometown. She's going to use the spare room in our house. Make sure to clean it up before she gets here, okay? Are you talking about the room that's filled up with stuff we rarely use? Get all the stuff out of the room and clean it up. Don't leave a single speck of dust behind. We can't let my pregnant daughter sleep in a filthy room. There's still some time before she comes back, but there's a lot of things to get ready for, so be prepared. All right. Should we also change the wallpapers and floor tiles as well? It's going to require some reconstruction. How about we renovate the whole house before she gets home? Isn't it a wonderful idea? Renovate the whole house? I hope she can move into our house with my grandson. Huh? If she moves in, I'll be able to see my beloved daughter and my lovely grandson every day. It will be so nice to see him grow up. If we're really renovating the house, which company should we contact? Can you do some research about it and negotiate for an affordable price? Make it as cheap as possible. Am I in charge of the research? What? Are you complaining? We allowed you to live in this house. Can't you do something in return? Okay. I'm so excited to meet my grandson. Good morning, Haley. Have you heard from mom about me getting pregnant? I'm finally having a baby. Yes, she told me the other day. Congratulations! I heard you were coming back home. To be honest, mom forced me to. I didn't want to cause any trouble. I thought you might feel uncomfortable as well. But 
Mom never listens to what I say. Don't worry about us, Helen. I heard your husband is busy with work. You'll be tired if you have to do everything alone while you're pregnant. I bet you can relax better at your parents' house. That's true. My husband works as a paramedic, so he's busy all the time. I heard that there's not enough workers. I bet they're really busy. How's my brother? Is he doing okay? Is he on his business trips as always? Yep, he's always in another country. So, you're alone in the house with your mother-in-law? I bet you're stressed out. No, I'm fine. Mom has been very kind to me. If you have any complaints, just tell her, okay? Don't follow all her orders. You have the right to say no. I hope I have the courage to say no. My family has a strong personality, so you have to start expressing your own opinions. They'll try to do everything their own way. Mom really has a strong personality, doesn't she? And now your pregnant sister-in-law is coming home. I guess you're in a stressful situation more than ever. No, I'm okay. Really? I would have left a long time ago if I was you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to meeting you, Helen. My daughter's also really excited to take care of the baby. Really? She's so adorable. Did she turn five this year? She's a big girl. Yeah, she's five years old. She said she's going to take care of your baby like her real brother. I'll be relying on you guys then. We'd love to help, Helen. It's been five years since I took care of a baby, so I'm actually really excited. But I'm guessing Mom would want to do everything for the baby and wouldn't allow us to even touch her grandson. Is she that excited? She said she hoped you would move in. Really? She must be kidding. She's already living with her cute granddaughter. Helen, I think she's serious about it. Where is the new bed for my daughter? It's arriving tomorrow. What? It's not here yet? I'm sorry, it's taking a while to arrive. It's been delayed because of the snowstorm. You should have bought it earlier. What do you think you're doing? I was planning to let her sleep in a brand new bed because her due date is coming up. I had so many things to do. I'm sorry. What things? After she came back home, I have more housework to do. It shouldn't be much. But I have to prepare a different meal for her because she's pregnant and also her room. You told me to clean her room perfectly every day. What's wrong with asking you to clean my pregnant daughter's room? I also have to look after my child. I can't just spend the whole day doing housework. I'm not a helper, Mom. Are you complaining? After she came home, you keep prioritizing her all the time. It's as if she's giving birth to your first grandchild. My daughter is also your grandchild. I think you're treating her unfairly. Oh, really? So you're complaining to me. I'm just asking you to treat my daughter better. I I'm asking for fairness. Shut up. Stop giving me orders. How about you just leave the house then? My real daughter is going to give birth to my lovely grandson, so I no longer need you and your daughter in my house. Huh? You're outside shopping with your daughter now, aren't you? I'll lock the door so that you can't come in. You're free to go anywhere you like. Wait a minute, it's a snowstorm outside. Are you locking us out in this weather? You can't do this to us. It's none of my business. How about you find a cave for shelter? I'll rescue you when spring comes. Please, don't do this to us. I I'm sorry if I offended you. Could you at least let my daughter stay inside? Please, I'm begging you. It's too late to say sorry now. I hope your daughter becomes quiet after experiencing the cold. You'll be able to discipline your child. <laughs> How can you say that? She could die in this weather. Then find a hotel. How about you get a divorce with my son as well? Then I'll finally be able to live with just my real family members. Mom, what have you done? You're still complaining? How annoying. 
My real daughter is giving birth to my grandson, so I no longer need you in my house. You're useless. I hope you get involved in an accident and disappear from my life. Understand? How oh, can I ever understand? How can you do this, you old hag? Did you just call me a hag? How rude. I'm never ever forgiving you, bitch. You haven't realized yet? I'm Helen. Helen? Huh? Why? What are you texting me? I'm with Haley right now. She's trying to warm up in a cafe. I thought you were taking a nap in your room. I went for a walk and ended up going shopping, but it started snowing, so I hopped on a taxi to get home. And on my way home, I saw Haley shivering in a snowstorm with her daughter. Mom, you locked them out, didn't you? She was being rude to me, so I was teaching her a lesson. You should have just left them there. I bet you're freezing. Come back home and have a warm bath. I'm not going home. I'm going back to my own house. What? Your due date is just next week. You could give birth any time. We can't change hospitals now. Haley told me how horribly you've been treating her. You've been bullying her since she moved in. How can you do this to your son's wife? How would you feel if I was treated like this by my husband's mother? I would never tolerate that. Then why could you do the same to your daughter-in-law? You're terrible, Mom. I never knew you were like this. Calm down, Helen. You're losing your calm because you're pregnant. Let's calm down and talk about it together, okay? My pregnancy doesn't matter. If I wasn't pregnant, I would have punched you in the face. It's my responsibility to discipline my daughter-in-law. Discipline? Locking her out during a snowstorm? You should never do something like that. You're a killer, Mom. You planned a murder. I planned on letting her in after she endured the cold for a while. You're lying. They were ice cold when I met them. If I didn't pick them up, they might have lost their lives in this snowstorm. Are you aware of how terrible you are? It's not like we're in the mountains. They wouldn't have lost their lives. Then how about you try walking in this snowstorm? I doubt you can even walk straight with the snow blocking your vision. Okay, okay, I'll apologize to them. If Haley forgives me, stop complaining, okay? If she ever forgives you, I have nothing to say. Hello? It's me, Haley. Oh, Haley, I'm sorry I locked you out. I never knew the snowstorm was this bad. Oh, forgive me, Haley. No, I won't forgive you. What? We almost died in this snowstorm. Why would I forgive you with a simple apology that lacks sincerity? I'm being sincere. I'm giving you a proper apology. You just want to avoid Helen getting angry at you. I don't think you can call it a proper apology. What do you want from me? I don't need anything. You don't have to apologize. I don't think I can ever forgive you. You're really stubborn and narrow-minded. You should forgive me. I apologized. You're not being sincere at all. Helen is shocked with your attitude. She said she'll never allow you to meet her son. Wait a second. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Why? Why can't I meet my grandson? I'm his grandma. It's up to Helen. Let me talk to Helen about this. She's calling my husband, so she's not available right now. She's telling him what happened. And she also told me to move out as soon as possible. Is everyone trying to leave me? I'm moving out like you wanted me to, and my husband is coming with me. Helen is furious and decided not to visit your house ever again. My son was the one who wanted to live with me. I don't think he will ever agree to move out. No, he clearly told me that he'll be moving out with me. I can't believe it! My husband never knew that I was being treated horribly by his mother. I didn't want him to worry, so I chose not to tell him. But I regret not telling him earlier about it. Are you leaving me alone in this house? I thought you liked a quiet environment. You can take a nap as much as you want and cook anything you want to eat. I'm happy how everything turned out. 
I can finally live with my real family without any disturbance. The first thing Helen did was to scold my husband for failing to protect his wife. I tried to convince her that he wasn't to be blamed, but she never listened. She thought that the reason why he didn't realize the horrible treatment by his mother was because he wasn't interested in his family enough. When she pointed that out, my husband seemed really shocked. He then apologized to me about not being able to protect me, and we decided to move out of his parents' house. As Helen decided, she never visited her mother's house nor allowed her to meet her son. As soon as she gave birth in her hometown, she left instantly and went back to her own house. I bet her mother was really shocked about it. After half a year passed, she came to visit us in our new home. She apologized repeatedly, crying floods of tears and begging for forgiveness. But my husband asked her to leave, and she sadly went back home in the pouring rain. I wonder if she'll ever get to meet her grandson. Maybe she'll never be able to. Hi, Grace. I never got the chance to thank you for all your help at our wedding. Thanks to you, it went perfect. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, and your speech was wonderful. I wish Joan's dad was with us to make the speech. If he was alive, he would have made a better one. Yours was great. My parents were very touched. The wedding was a lot more compact than I expected. Well, we both don't like to be the center of attention. So we only invited close family and kept the crowd as small as possible. A big and gorgeous stage would have been misfit, for you anyway. So I guess a compact wedding was suited for you. You're totally right. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to wear a wedding dress. But you did in the end. Yes, because my grandmother really wanted to see me in one. So I thought I'd give it a try. But I chose a very simple design. I didn't want anything too fancy. Yes, I think you chose right. Sorry to be blunt here, but you wouldn't look good in something fancy. I agree. <laughs> I was glad everyone enjoyed it, though. I never would have thought my son would choose someone like you. Oh, <laughs> I know, me neither. He's very handsome, which he must have gotten from you. Anybody would assume he'd choose someone pretty. All of his exes were very pretty. He even dated a girl who won a beauty trophy. Oh, I'm not surprised. Good-looking people must attract other good-looking people. I wish I could be a part of that. The reason why he became attracted to you is probably because of that positivity of yours. I think so. He said he becomes more lively when I'm with him. Oh, I forgot to mention that next month there's a big family gathering. Why don't you two come? Nice! Are we celebrating something? Yes, there's a family member who's turning a hundred years old. She's Joan's grandfather's sister, which makes her Joan's great-aunt. Wow, a great-aunt? I did meet John's grandfather at our wedding. He is a very fashionable gentleman. He has seven siblings. The eldest is turning 100. What is John's grandfather's birth order? The last? That's why the two are quite far apart in age. I bet. Anyway, we have a banquet room booked at a hotel for the celebration. A banquet room? Wow! You should come and say hello. Most of the family weren't invited to the wedding, so you haven't had the chance to meet them. This would be a great opportunity. I agree. I'll check the date with John. Just to confirm, are you sure I'm invited? I will let the host know. Everyone should be aware that John got married, so I'm sure it won't be a problem. Oh, thank you. I look forward to seeing everyone. Good. I hope you get along with everyone. How was the gathering for you last night? You seemed quite nervous. Good morning. Oh, yes, I was very nervous to meet everyone. And I was astonished. How come everyone in the family is so good looking? I know. I was surprised when I joined the family as well. Everyone has a very pretty face. It made my heart race. I felt completely out of place. You would actually stand out among such good-looking people. As in, a bad way. I think I kind of did. Makes you lose your confidence, doesn't it? You must have felt alien, or even miserable. Maybe. Do you regret that you got married into this family? I mean, I was a little embarrassed. But I didn't feel alien. You don't have to act strong. I'm sure. 
because everyone was so nice to me. The younger member of the family went out for more drinks afterwards. We all became good friends. We were calling each other by nicknames by the end of the night. Or should I say, by the morning? <laughs> we stayed out so long, I just woke up. Huh? You became that close with them? With my family? Yes, we exchanged contacts and everything. We also created a group chat. I'm so glad you asked me to join the gathering. That's not right. Uh, beg your pardon? That's not right. Why did you get close to them? What? Grace, what's wrong? You do not fit in the family. A decent person would realize and want a divorce. How the hell can you not see someone as ugly as you don't belong? Ugly? I'm referring to you. Why is my son married to such a pig? You're not welcomed. Oh, Grace, calm down. How did you do it? Huh? I'm asking you how you tricked my son to marry you. Surely you had to. Do you have something on him? What? No. We're together because we fell in love. I had never tricked him. How could I have that kind of technique? My experience with men are so limited. I don't believe you. That can't be. Who would fall in love with a person like you? You're ugly. You give me chills. What did you do to marry John? I refuse to accept you as my daughter-in-law. Wow. So the truth comes out. I didn't know you thought of me that way. I mean, I did know that you always kept your distance. But I see now that you never liked me. When first John introduced you to me, I was so shocked that I nearly fainted. I couldn't help but wonder if John was having issues with his vision. I do realize that my appearance is far from attractive, but... John loves me for who I am inside. If you knew that, you're unattractive. How can you allow yourself to be with John? Get a divorce. I don't want to do that. You might not believe this, but we are very happy together. Everyone in the family said that John seems much happier than before. You heard them too, didn't you? That's only because he's still excited about being a newly wed. It will die down in a matter of time. Then he will deeply regret he married an ugly person like you. Oh, well, I don't know. I am. He'll regret it for sure. If John doesn't want a divorce now, so be it. For now, though. You must be perfect at housekeeping. You're not good enough to be his wife, so at least be sure to take care of all the chores. That's the only thing you can provide him. Housekeeping? Duh. That's the least you can do. Okay. Um, I'm not very good at housekeeping, but I'll do my best. Um, excuse me? Hi, Grace, what is it? Is something wrong? Yes, something is very wrong. I heard from John's cousin. Is it true that you're making John cook? Oh, that. Have you forgotten what I said to you? An ugly pig like you making my son do chores? It's unbelievable. We help each other with chores since we both work. Surely I can't manage everything on my own. That's your responsibility. My poor baby, get a divorce, now. He comes home tired from work and you make him go through all that? The wife should take care of all the chores. Why are you working anyway? You should be a full-time housewife and support your husband. Actually, truth be told, John is the full-time homemaker now. Excuse me? John stays at home as the homemaker. And I go out to work as the breadwinner. What are you talking about? You're talking gibberish? John is a sales executive at a trading firm. But he actually became sick from overworking. So he left the firm when we got married. That's why he cooks dinner and does other house chores. What? Why have I not heard about this? This is very significant news. I don't understand why this was kept from me. Probably because he didn't want to tell you. I mean, your reaction is imaginable. You would say something like, be a man, blah, blah. Your ideology is so biased and outdated. I beg your pardon? Well, John's actions speak the truth, right? He hasn't told you, so he must not trust you. What do you know about my son? Don't you speak like you know everything. John has sometimes spoken about you, and they were mostly negative. What? How so? That you were a lazy, stay-at-home mom. 
You never worked and yet spent so much of what your husband had earned without even doing any house chores. And that you were an arrogant, unlikable person. John said that? Yes, he did to me. So I think that John may not like you that much, Grace. That can be. You're lying to me. You're lying to me about everything, including that you're the breadwinner. You're trying to deceive me. No, it's the truth. I am in a directive position of an international firm. I make plenty to pay for the both of us. That's not reason enough for my son to be a homemaker. John didn't like working in an organization. He really hated his environment where he had to show up at this office every day. He worked for his living, but one day his heart couldn't tolerate it anymore. There was even a time when he physically could not take a step forward while he was headed to his office. It was that bad for him? Yes, it was. When I first met him, he was not in a good condition. We became close because I was giving him advice about work. Once we started dating, we realized that we were a good fit because we kind of supplemented each other. So, we got married and agreed that John would be the homemaker. That's why he chose you? The current lifestyle suits him. He seems much happier nowadays. You, a director at an international firm? Do you think I can actually believe that? I don't mean to boast or anything. But I am really good at what I do. My professional background helped me hit it off with your family too, you know? What do you mean? Remember the family gathering you invited me to the other day? Well, a few of us began to talk about work and it really sparked the conversation. I was like a consultant that night. Some asked me for advice and all. See, that's one of the reasons why I was able to get along with your family. You big... No, it can be true. I don't believe any of this. Oh, well, that's too bad. If you don't want to believe it, so be it. I didn't want to, but I will let John know of our conversations. I don't think I can tolerate you calling me a pig any longer anyway. Everyone is out of their minds. Why does everyone have your back? Why am I the one getting scolded? I heard you got told off by some of your family. What did you expect after being so disrespectful to me? Just because you're my mother-in-law doesn't give you the right to say things like that. How the hell did you trick everyone to like you? You just got married to John. You're new. Oh, did I never tell you? I am really talented at that. I'm very likable. It's important for me to be able to build a good relationship with people. Not only for work, but also for my personal life. I'm quite proud to say this skill helped me to become a director regardless of my young age. I was even told that I should be begging you for forgiveness. How can this be? Wow, I guess I really am loved. John was furious about all you had to say to me. From my perspective, it's very sweet of someone to become so emotional for me. Everyone is a traitor. When I first joined the family, everyone was nice to me. They treated me so well, saying how glad they were to see such a pretty bride. Yes, but you have an ugly personality. And people get used to seeing a pretty face after a while. Who are you calling ugly? Someone as ugly as you can't call someone else ugly. You know, people try to avoid something unattractive. In my case, my personality made up for my unattractiveness. So I always had people around me. In your case, though... Your face wasn't enough to make up for your personality. That's why no one is around you anymore. That's how ugly your personality is. Shut your mouth, you pig. John is very disappointed in you. He said he didn't want to contact you anymore, or even see you. What? He can't cut me loose like that. You don't mean he's leaving his old mother. Honestly, we both don't want anything to do with you. It's so unfortunate. Well, your family are so nice. How did you end up like that? Don't talk to me like you know better. I will not take that from you. See, that's what I mean by ugly personality. You think you can say anything just because you're pretty? Well, you should know. Life is not that easy. Are you scolding me? A petty girl like you? You may be older, but clearly I am much more aware of how the world works. You should feel ashamed you are getting scolded by someone younger than you. I hope one day your heart and face balances out.
Kreese was not able to redeem herself from her bad reputation in the family. On the contrary, John and I became even closer with the other family members. Brace couldn't stand it, so she stopped contacting everyone. Hoping that somebody would worry and eventually call her. But no one did. Grace became desperate and wrote a letter to John, claiming he should be worried about her. The only way she could contact him was through a letter because he was ignoring all her messages. But that letter too was torn and thrown away by John. Soon after, our address changed, so we stopped receiving letters. Recently, most of our family has forgotten about Grace. And I am living happily with John.